started it up here, Connor. Don't blow yourself up to catch yourself on fire or hurt anybody or anything. Hello folks, this is Chuck, the devil dog, and my lovely partner, Brenda. Uh, Today we're going to take you on a tour of covered bridges. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, you need to look at it because it's very interesting. Today we're going to be up in the northeast of Lexington, up around the north of Paris, Kentucky area. Uh, we'll have several several bridges today, I'm hoping. So... Uh, We'll get started here. Okay, on the Kentucky bridges, this is a map of the Kentucky covered bridges. If you want to go online, just uh, go to Google and type in covered bridges in Kentucky map, and that's this is what will come up, and it'll show you the locations of the bridges. It's very interesting. There's probably, I don't know, I think there's 13, 14, 15, 16 bridges that you can, uh, that you can go see. Uh, I will tell you that the Stoner Side Farm Bridge is on private property, so it, uh, it will be, would be difficult to see. So, from there... We'll head to the bridges. See you later. I don't know. This what is the Stoner this. Farm you know covered bridge. Uh, we this started out with uh, a covered bridge we've heard of in Frankfurt, and we went to see it, and we were so amazed. And we it's it's uh, this is built out of cedar. We've been here for 25 years. Oh, the Beautiful. This gentleman let, let us in on the farm. This is on Stoner Farm. This is Stoner Creek. The bridge. Yeah. Been here since I've been here. I've been there eighteen and a half years. Now. And they're from Lexington, and they send about eight guys out here every day. It takes five, five and a half days to move this. Sure. They start I'm on sure. Monday, and whenever they finish, they come back. Did you sell them over there? This is more of the. Stoner Farm Covered Bridge. Okay, we have made it to the Colville Covered Bridge. This is north of Paris, Kentucky. We just came from the Stoner Farm Covered Bridge. This is a usable working covered bridge. I'm not sure of what creek this is. It's, it looks like it's had some restoration. Beautiful. Creek.
We made a trip to Vermont several years ago for our 50th wedding anniversary. And it's unbelievable the covered bridges in that area. We're walking through. Like I said, it was, or it is, excuse me, a usable bridge. Beautiful farm country, horse country. There's a creek. Oh, that's an old tree. There's my lovely partner. Here's the creek. And there's through the bridge again. Very nice. This is Wyatt. This is Hinkston Creek. Hence, hence, we are hence. still at the Culvert, 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 Culverville Covered Bridge. This is a sign located there. And what creek did you say it is? This is Hinkston Creek. Hinkston? Hinkston, yes. H-I-N-K-S-T-O-N -N Creek. And it is the Multiple King Post type. 120 feet long. 124 feet long and 18 feet wide. We're still at Colville Covered Bridge. Creek and the bridge. We are at the Johnson Creek Covered Bridge, way up close to Maysville. Have a little park here, a picnic bench. Surprising what you can find by just driving around the country roads. Beautiful, beautiful scenery and beautiful trip to reach these places. There's my lovely partner up there, if you can see her way up there. Walk around and see the other side. You've got water spout here. See the interior of the bridge. Structure MB. Looks like it might have been usable at one time. A lot of graffiti written all over the bridge. The old shed, a shack out there.
Creek. Say hello to the folks. Hello. That's Brenda again. <laughs> Say goodbye to the folks. Goodbye. On our return home, we uh, were told earlier to stop at Lil's Cafe in Paris because they had good food and good pies. So we did. I wanted carrot cake, but it had already been eaten by the lunch crew, but we didn't get there till one, two o'clock. So we had pecan pie. And when we checked out, the waitress wanted to know what we were doing in town, and we told her we were visiting covered bridges. And she wanted to know if we visited Colville. And we said yes, and she said, well, that's a haunted bridge. And proceeded to tell us the story that a man and woman, uh, she didn't give the year, were to be married and the gentleman left the girl at the altar. So she went to the bridge and hung herself. The story is now that you go to the bridge about midnight, park your car in the middle, turn the engine off, flash your lights three times, and then uh, your car won't start. Then there will be handprints all over the windshield. An old tale from a long time ago, I'm sure. So that's it. See y'all later. One item I forgot about the tour. Half of the enjoyment is just going through the country roads and the back roads to get to the covered bridges. You can see many interesting things, golf courses, scenery, old buildings, log houses. So if you wanna make the tour, it's well worth the trip to see the covered bridges and also see the sights of Kentucky. See you later, part three. This concludes the uh, part two of our covered bridge tour of Kentucky for outdoor outdoors in Kentucky we are headed to Winchester to visit one of our sponsors AL8 we'll see you for part three later and if you haven't seen part one make sure you do so see y'all later